Hey, South Point friends and family, just wanted to take a brief minute to encourage you and your family today. Hey, right now, all of us are in a season of hardship. Our life cannot feel fun right now, and I get that. Uh, you probably already know this, but as I've gotten older over the year, I've realized that there's an ebb and flow to life. Some of the seasons in my life have been really awesome. Some of the seasons in my life have been pretty just average, meh. And some of my seasons in life have been extremely hard. But here's the kicker. Regardless of whatever season you are in or I'm in, it'll always be temporary because life happens. And the only constant is that the circumstances surrounding you and I, they're always changing. One of the most important things I've learned from previous seasons of hardship is that they're temporary. Now in the moment, a challenging season can feel like it's gonna last forever. But I have some really good news. This season that you are in and that I'm in, it's temporary and it will come to an end. And the good news gets even better. It's often in our difficult seasons when our relationship with God has an opportunity to shine. And listen, this isn't just pastor speak, it's a repeated pattern in the lives of millions across all of history. This reminds me of the account of Joseph from the Bible. Now Joseph had a dream for a good life, but his father's favoritism caused his brothers to hate him. He had a tough home life. His brother's disdain caused him to be sold into slavery. It went bad from worse. And then the envy of his master's wife put him in prison. And the pride of those that he had helped kept him here, there longer than he wanted to be. A tragic season to say the least. But here's where it gets amazing. God showed up and his temporary season of tragedy was over. And there was a bright new season of goodness coming. And here's the takeaway. Joseph did not let the discouragement of the temporary season cause him to make choices that had permanent result. And that's the same challenge that faces you and I today. The discouragement of this situation is natural, but we don't have to let the discouragement rule the day. You and I can hold on to the truth that God loves us and that He is for us. And so let's take courage today, knowing that this season is temporary and that God is working even when we can't see it and even when we don't feel it. Let's love God and others today like life depends on it, because it really does. You see, stories that matter are never about comfort and convenience. They're about facing the brokenness of this world. So today, let's choose to be a part of a story that matters. God bless and remember, you matter deeply to God.